four. Hi, my name is Isabel Manzanares. Hello, my name is Kamichis Addison. And, and we, we are, are Topper, Topper Nation, Nation News. News. Today's Friday, September 8, 2017, and the ACT word of the day is connotation, an implied meaning of a word. In world news, Hurricane Irma has gone down to a Category 4, but it'll still be headed towards South Florida, and more counties in Florida are being evacuated as we speak. We said we keep you up with Jose, and Hurricane Jose has gone up to a Category 3, so we'll keep you more updated when we find out more information. In other news, airlines are waiving fees for changing flights due to the hurricane. The list of those airlines are Delta, American, United, JetBlue, Southwest, Frontier, and Spirit Airlines. So if you have a ticket headed towards Florida or the Caribbean and you can't get there, you might want to check up with them so you can get your money or get a flight somewhere else. Hey, Kymetrius, how will you tell us about that football game we have tonight? Well, yes, we do have a football game tonight, but first, I would like to speak on our JV. Our Hillwood Toppers JV team took on McGavick Raiders yesterday and had an excellent win, 19-6, over the Raiders. But tonight, our Hillwood Varsity will be in action versus Clarksville High School Wildcats, and the opening kickoff will be at 7 o'clock. Be sure you're there. And if I can be there, we all know y'all can, can be, be there. there. And we have a mini clip for you from the open house from last night. Good evening, Hillwood parents. Welcome to 2017 Annual Hillwood Open House. I'm so glad you've taken the opportunity to come and visit our school and devote time to support the most important gift that can be given to your son or daughter, a quality high school education. I'm Dr. Steve Chauncey. This school year is the beginning of my 10th year as the Executive Principal of Hillwood High School. The faculty, staff, and I are in place to ensure that students are career ready and prepared to enter college or the workforce. A high school diploma should mean the student has attained the academic and social skills to be a productive citizen after high school, allowing each student to have further career choices whether they enroll in college or become part of the workforce. I encourage you as parents to support the school, attend academic and extracurricular events, and monitor your child's progress reports, their report cards, and other important documents that are frequently sent home for you to review their progress in school. Be an advocate 
of your child's teachers. Support them in their challenging job as educators. Support Hillwood. Join the PTSO and be involved. Hillwood is your school. I ask for you as parents to hold your son or daughter accountable for their attendance at school, their appropriate behavior, and their academic progress. There are numerous opportunities for students to experience academic success at Hillwood High School. Whether it's being part of one of the nationally recognized career academies, enrollment of one of the 20 AP classes offerings, taking an AC prep class, or participation in an internship as part of a career technical class. The ACT assessment score is number one factor in our state for college acceptance. At Hillwood, there are classes in culinary arts, digital design, band, dance, rock band, orchestra, enrichment classes, and interventions to assist struggling students. There are clubs such as HOSA, FBLA, National Honor Society, and many other where students may belong. There are 13 varsity sports that are sanctioned by the TWSAA. There's something for everyone at Hillwood High School. I've devoted much of my professional career and time in molding Hillwood High School into a school focused on teaching and learning with an environment that is safe. Structure and order at Hillwood is intentional, not by chance. Hillwood has a clear culture of exceeding expectations academically with character training as a desired outcome for all students every day at Hillwood High School. I'm excited for the future of Hillwood as plans are put in place for the design and construction of a new state-of-the-art multi-million dollar high school to be built in the Bellevue community to service the students and family in the most western part of Davidson County. If all goes well, the doors to the new high school will open in the fall of 2020. In conclusion, as I state every school year, I have two desires for your son or daughter. First, I want them to have a memorable and good, solid, all-around high school experience. Secondly, and most importantly, I want all students to leave Hillwood High School with a high school diploma they earned. Again, thank you for caring enough to be here tonight. I look forward to seeing you throughout the school year. Again, please be involved in your high school and the education of all young men and women that pass through the doors of Hillwood High School. Good evening, and as always, we are Hillwood. In sports news, yesterday was the opening kickoff game for the NFL, Chiefs versus the Patriots. It was an upsetting game for the Patriots. The Kansas City Chiefs take the win. What an upsetting game yesterday. But this weekend, our college football, the college football will be starting up again, and we have UGA versus Norton Dane, Ohio State versus Oklahoma, and the game of the night, Auburn, Auburn University versus Clemson. That would be an outstanding game. We hope to see it. And now, some news from Nick. Earlier this week, an 11-year-old from Memphis, Tennessee, accidentally shot himself in his right hand after finding a gun at his bus stop. The boy is now recovering. However, this is the fifth case of accidental shootings in the last month. Moving on to some more cheerier news. For all you record setters out there, Guinness just released the 63rd edition of the Guinness World Record book. One of the adorable entries in this book is a cat named Cygnus whose tail stretches out more than 17 inches long, getting him the world record for a domesticated cat with the longest tail. Back to you guys. Thanks, Nick. That's crazy about that cat. But anyways, in other news, Amazon is planning to spend $5 billion on building a new headquarters in North America. Can you believe that? I need a job. Right. But anyways, it should be creating 50,000 jobs for people. So that's good news. That's all we have for today, 3A edition. So see y'all at the game. <laughs>